What's good, superstars? Back with another Cryptoys video. You got Superstar Joe, you got Superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good, you? Man, this is an exciting video over, over, overdue from us because it's some breaking news in the space. But guys, if you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification, you know when we post <laughs> some innovation, innovation in the digital collecting space. You can also become a superstar VIP, two nine in a month. Get one of these stars next to your name. Hit the join button under the video. <laughs> Get you one of those stars next to your name. You flex in the chat, but also if you get the super duper rare, you can get one of these hats sent directly to your home if you so wish. Rob has been on a mission sending them out, so uh, it's been a lot of fun. Follow us on X, follow us on Instagram, join the Discord. Discord, we got channels for every single digital collecting platform known to man. I mean, if there's other ones that we are missing, let us know. We'll add them in there. We want to be the hub of the Web3 space, the NFT space, and digital collecting space. And I think we are doing just that. People are being introduced to all different types of projects, all different types of apps through our Discord and meeting one another and just discussing everything that's come out. I mean, Pokemon just came out with a, a non-Web3 game, but it's digital collecting and it's been on fire. We've been enjoying it. We've been addicted. And we have a chat <laughs> in our Discord for that. And people have been going crazy about that. So guys, go check out the Discord. If you're not in there already, what are you waiting for? Yeah, like for me personally, the best part of collecting in general is only when it's tied to some kind of utility. And there's really the traditional gamification utility is a great utility. And we've always wanted to see this get married with our NFTs, right? We've been collecting these NFTs. We love Cryptoys because we know Cryptoys has a gamification roadmap. They have a very transparent clear roadmap on where they, what they want to be in the future and we know that gamification is like the whole base of this entire project the collectability aspect of it with the you know how you unwrap you have the holocron and then it goes to your blister pack and then you unwrap it to your toy that whole collecting aspect is fun and great because that unboxing experience is amazing but ultimately if it lacks a utility beyond that it makes you question long term how that would draw in the average Joe. But I think with this gamification that they just released right now, they're on the right path and they're giving us an example of what they're thinking. So if you take a look at their X, make sure you follow them on, on X. It says who's ready to play with their cryptoids for a limited time. So they're just doing this shortly because it's like an alpha or giving early access to some free alpha concepts for a few new mini games and experiences. Currently available for your open UFO characters to start. Please note these are pre-alpha concepts. Please expect a few bugs, but we want to give you your hands to have some fun and get your feedback. This is exactly what we want to see. And this is what I want to see from a communication perspective at all. Because we know they're doing it, but I've never really grasped the concept until now. When I actually can go and use it and see it. So before I go any further, Joe, is there anything you want to add to that? I mean, it's something that we've been waiting for in the space from any project at all. And uh, Cryptoids, we we had an idea. The team was top notch. Uh, we've had the interviews with them, AMAs on the channel, where we've talked directly to them. We understand their vision. We understand what they're willing to build. And they're basically, their plan, their roadmap is public. It's public for everybody to see so you know what you get with what you are purchasing on the platform. Um, the thing that I love here is that they didn't just release one experience. They didn't release two experiences. They're releasing three pre-alpha experiences, and they are pre-alpha. I mean, this is not um, the best-looking games. It's not the best uh, quality games, but it is an alpha of a first ever in the space where you can pick a toy. First of all, you have to open it from the packaging to be able to even experience this. So we try, I went to click the one that was in the package. I'm like, oh, let me try my Barry comment. Barry comment. I went, I clicked it, can't play. I had to go to our open characters in the ZooFO line, click on them, and then you get the cartridges for the three games. And we only had one open. So it was something that we were, I was having trouble finding. Like, where is this experience? It's a little Easter egg almost. Um, but you click on... Our, our Alfie, for example, we have, and then it lets you choose from the experiences and you can play a game. It's a token gating experience. You have to own the toy to be able to play the game. Now, what happens when you start to get higher quality games? We know that there's an SDK going around there for, for cryptoids that they're going to be sharing with developers uh, where they can build even better experiences. We know that all the cryptoids are made with a similar 
type of skeleton, which means that that's something that people can build on top of and make these things crazy. You ever heard of Fall Guys? You ever heard of Fortnite? Like all of these things built with a similar skeleton are are top-notch games that people love. Um, what happens when a mobile app comes out? What happens? Like there's so many things, layers on layers on layers that Cryptoys is building here. And uh, once it all comes to fruition, uh, this is just giving you a sneak peek into the mind of how it's going to work, the structure behind it, how you have to have the open character. You're starting to learn. And I, I think what they did is amazing by releasing it to everybody who has any ZUFO. You can try it out, test it out. You get the flow. You understand how the, the concept works because this is kind of a look into the future. Um, if they take it away soon, they take it away. But, I mean, it came out of nowhere in the first place. And just excited to see what potentially could be the future uh and I, I mean i'm really excited and we're going to show some of the gameplay here today so let's take a spin you can go to your your characters your open characters and i go ahead i mean i go to series zufo show us one result we only opened one of these uh so you take a look now for me it was pretty intuitive the moment i heard of this yeah. it made sense to me i gotta go to the actual character click the character and it says play now i mean it's getting me excited about the other ips and the kind of games you may see will it be the same games or will they be different games? If something tells me that you can have a lot of fun with this tailoring games based on IP. Um, I don't know, Joe, if you have a preference. I think let's start off with like kind of the Mario Kart one here. Yeah, you can play that one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and open this. All right. Here. Yep. All right. So you can use WASD or you can use the arrows on your keyboard. I mean... It's not as easy as it looks, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Not as easy as it looks. It's not, uh, you know, you got to kind of get a little bit of a feel for it, right? It could, you could jump if you click. You could jump. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's all right. <laughs> I was actually shocked by, like, the mechanics of being able to, like, bump into other characters and, and stuff like that. I didn't think, like, I thought maybe it would be just something, like, where they go through each other. Yeah, um, yeah. Not not so much be able to like do these this collision stuff like right off the bat but uh, it seems like they did a pretty good job with that but you could tell like it's beta right it's it's super beta oh there was a skateboard there i wonder if you could have drove up that skateboard back up so you can back you up. can <laughs> let's let's go up yeah let's go back here see if you can you drive know, up some mario kart hacks do you remember with mario kart there was like those shortcuts if you had the the yeah. booster oh wow head on yeah see if you can go up that's all oh. head on no yeah, I, I, have a feeling, I have a feeling you can Next lap. Or, next lap. As as I get <laughs> as I get buried by these guys. <laughs> I set you up for failure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is that here a speed on. burst? What is that? I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I I don't think it's as easy to use that. Uh, it's not that easy to use it, so I don't think you can use it. But you could. I I know there's something like I don't know. I could try jumping here. No, no it doesn't. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So I know there's going to be shortcuts, but uh, those remain to be discovered. So if any of you guys see it, let us know. Like right here. Here it is, Joe. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I think that that's a definitely that's a, a Easter that's egg. That's a real shortcut. Once I get the hang of the jump, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's good. It's legit. Okay. So that was kind of the mirror card. They call it Zoom FO. Good one. Good one. I want to show something here because sure. I want to show the concept of of how it has to be an open toy, right? So right now we got all these ones that are closed. If I were to go to, for example, Chroma Alfie, it doesn't have play, right? But if we if we open it, let's just open it. So he's there. Now we can click play and we should be able to play Void Voyager. I like that. I like that. With the new one, right? So this is Void Voyager. This one is kind of reminds us of, uh, if you remember, they showed a little bit of a beta of uh, like an obstacle course. Yeah, this is hard. So this one was really hard. Yeah. This I, one's I actually, this one's hard. You can hard. see, look at the skin, right? The skin is different. So like we're actually playing with the one that we opened up. Like take that in. Ah, that's sick. You have that's to sick. own it to be able to play these experiences. What happens when you get a new experience, a different experience that's not a beta experience? Well, yeah, what what I what I well, like about <laughs> what I like about this is that it's hard. But what I like about this is that basically the NFT is the cartridge, right? Yep. Like let's say for or the CD or the disc or whatever you want to call it. 
If you remember, this is a glitch, by the way. When you die yeah. in this one, it just keeps doing this. Uh, oh, so you, but, you have to restart every time? I think so. You got to, like, close and reopen it. Um, okay. But if you remember, when we would buy, let's say, the PS3, or the PS2, or the GameCube, or the Nintendo 64. I think even you had one more before that. What was it called? The uh, the Super Sega. Super Nintendo. Yeah, Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. So you would buy the system, and then you would buy different games to play. What I like about this is that the character is going to give you access almost to different games. So you're not buying every single game. You're buying the character that yep. then gets you access to different games. So, so I, the I like is almost like that, right? So like ZooFO is going to give you the ZooFO games, right? And so maybe, they have like, maybe they have like a ZooFO Series 2 that only gives you uh, access to Series 2 games. You know what I mean? So they can still play... They can still have like different type of game things or whatever. Yo, keep Ooh, going, what? keep Ooh, going. Oh, we're gonna put you on. We're gonna put you on yo. Twitch. Oh my god, you guys! I put too much pressure on you. you I would have been better with a chat, live chat going and just throwing out those those yeah, super chats, I'll, or whatever they call. <laughs> put you on Twitch for that, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, All right, you, you can show them the last one, the block there. Yeah, but just just before I get into the last one, um, I don't forget the stato meter and how that's gonna play a factor in these games. This is why I like. They've thought all this out already in advance because they built it from day one with this in mind. So we know there's different rarities, but those different rarities actually have different stato meters, which we know are going to play a factor for sure in the passive gaming. For sure, for sure, for sure. The passive gaming is going to have the stato meters. They've already kind of alluded to that. But they can also do it in these games too. Maybe the better the stato meter, the better your character, the faster it will drive, right? So this yeah. is just the ZUFO block here. So let's drop down here. The thing I notice here is like the quality of that of the environment, like high quality, like the coins, the the shoe. Like this is the background in the unboxing screen, right? Yeah, you can. The coin actually moves. Yeah. So they're 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 playing around with a bunch of different mechanics. Yeah. Oh, the book. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So there are there are a few things that move. There are a few. Oh, there you go. You see that? Yeah. So there are a few things that will move here. There you go. I wonder if you can knock the crayons down. I could try and see if this one does this one move too. Let's see the crayons. No. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. Yeah, you can. How about the glasses? Did the glasses do anything? This is a great way. People were always saying, like, I wish I could look at the character in more detail. I think this this block is a is a great way to see the the facial features when they jump. You can see um all the animations i think it's a, a cool way just to enjoy the character if you're maybe if you have a kid that wants to see them or play around with them doesn't necessarily want to compete this might be a fun way for them to play yeah i'm just looking at this piece of paper here some math formulas on it um you got the comic books that we know they've released the comic book before right um obviously lots of skateboards um lots of toy kin um so pretty cool i mean imagine I, you can like click on stuff here like you're just in here you click on that, that comic and now you're reading the comic um, yeah a bunch of different things like that i'm not really sure where they're going with this i think i think though the pot the, the possibly journalist and honestly that yeah, it is pre-alpha but relative to what we've seen in the space they're actually pretty good i mean like considering right like what from yeah. what has been provided to us from other companies that we, and we know other companies are out there working on gamification right now. They have things you can do, but I've yet to see something that feels as much as a game as this, that we are personally involved in. There might be other projects out there. I know there's lots of really cool projects where you can level your guys up. It's almost like RPG um, and there's so many of them, right? But this seems to, for the ones that we track on this channel, they actually did a decent job on this. I'm excited to see what this is gonna develop into. Yeah, there's definitely other ones. I think there's some that are like AAA games uh, yeah. with some NFT type of uh, mechanics or whatnot. I mean, this is something that has uh, licensed IP potentially in the future. That's why we're really, really bu bullish on it. We want to track it because what happens when that licensed IP unlocks some of these experiences? I think that's when it kind of game changes for the entire space. Um, it goes from being something that you buy and sell to being something that you play with, you enjoy, uh, your kids enjoy. Uh, we do know that Cryptoids has uh, the chat guardian. It has all of the the uh, kid compliancy uh, things being built out. So once that goes live and then kids can start enjoying this, I think you start to see a shift in uh, in the community, a shift in the uh, user base, and uh, just a lot of fun. I mean, if they can keep coming out with experiences and leveling up the experiences, 
Uh, obviously, this pre-alpha, like we mentioned, but uh, just gives you an idea of what the future holds. So really exciting stuff from Quick Choice. And, and that's, that was my point, right, in terms of what we follow on this channel. We tend to follow licensed IP projects. Yeah. I haven't seen anything from them yet uh, that even resembles anything close to this level of gamification. So it's very interesting to see like there's a real opportunity here. Securing the license already is so hard to even be able to secure that license. In Crypto's case, they have Disney. They got the Star Wars. They got NASCAR. Now we know why they got NASCAR because clearly they got a game coming up, right? Um, so, you know, they got uh, all these all these different IPs. And then the Masters of the Universe, Mattel, right? It's very interesting to see when you have this gamify world seeing this with the zoo of all how that will work with those characters and then how will they crossbreed between the different ips it's going to be something that we're still early this is a great sneak peek i don't think we're going to have the alpha version anytime soon and we're definitely not going to have the beta version anytime soon the next step for them now is going to be a mobile app which is supposed to be really really close yeah. it should be around the corner right so the mobile app should be really soon so anyways, I'm excited about this, guys. You guys can let us know in the comments below what do you think about these Cryptoids gamification. They released gamification. What do you guys thought of those games? Have you played the games? Would you now consider going to buy uh, in the secondary market a Zoo FO character just to play these games, try them out? And what do you think about the future? And also, if you haven't already, don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the Super FM. Hit the bell if you want to get every single video, every, you know, twice a week. Also, to our Superstar VIPs, thank you so much for your support. Uh, everyone take care. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye. Love you.